Now, a lot of us cyclists can fall under the fair weather rider category, myself included, where we'll ride our bikes all summer long in the beautiful weather, and as soon as the bad weather hits, you'll find us hibernating indoors, probably on our indoor trainers. But recently, I've been choosing to hang out on my bike even when it's a little bit drizzy, which is very out of character for me. But you know, it really hasn't been that bad because I've been following these very simple steps that make riding in the rain a lot better. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video to get all the tips. I'm gonna address the elephant in the room here. I've chosen to film this video when I thought it was gonna be pouring down with rain. But as you can see, the sun is shining in my face and it's not raining. But it has been raining and the roads are still a little bit wet. But no matter if it's raining now or not, please follow my advice in this video so it helps you when you go out when it is pouring down. Now, first off, we're gonna start with a very obvious one, mud guards. Now, these are the holy grail when it comes to riding in the rain and people have probably been nagging at you before to get mud guards. It's really gonna help and you're like, whatever, whatever, I haven't got time for that. Trust me on this one, get yourself a proper set of mud guards. Ones that go right over your wheel that are gonna actually protect you. And as well, if you are riding in a group, it is gonna protect riders behind you as well. At a bare minimum, if you don't wanna have a full set of mud guards, get yourself an R saver, maybe even a GCN one. These basically fit under your saddle and they will protect the spray from your backside. And no one likes a soggy chamois. So at least get yourself one of these. Now, if you are struggling to fit mud guards to your bike, I do admit they can be a pain and quite fiddly to get on right. Well, Alex over on the GCN Tech channel has just done a video on how to fit mud guards and loads of tips and tricks to make it a little bit easier to get on. So make sure you head over and watch that video after this video, of course. Now, I would recommend keeping your mud guards on all winter long because even when it's not physically raining, there is always going to be surface water on the floor, which when you don't have mud guards is just going to spray up on your body and you're going to feel like you have been rained on because of the amount of rain splashing up on you. Whereas if you have the mud guards on, it will keep you bone dry, trust me. So if I haven't sold mud guards to you yet, I know what else I can do. Now, most of us will head out on our bikes with our mobile phones. In fact, we don't go many places with our phones these days. But when it is raining, I always like to put mine in a little sandwich bag. But most phones are waterproof these days. But personally, I don't like to risk it. And it just gives me a peace of mind knowing that my phone's going to be dry. And especially when you come to stop and then go on your phone and the screen's wet from all the moisture in your back pocket. It's not, there's nothing worse than when it doesn't work. So it's a little tip that you can do. Now, the weather has been off and on today and as you can see we have a lovely rainbow in the background or an envis as they like to call it in wales now when you are riding out in the rain you might want to think about adapting your riding style in a few different ways firstly i would say you might want to consider the route now, for example, lanes like this that I'm on today probably are not ideal for riding when it is in wet conditions because they tend to be, well, the surface tends to be not as good as some of the main roads and they get very mucky and very wet very quickly. So it's best to avoid these altogether. You also don't want to think about your braking. You don't want to be doing any real abrupt braking because when it's wet, we all know it can be quite slippery. So make sure to look ahead, look in advance and anticipate when you're gonna break. Another way you might wanna adapt your riding style is choosing lines on the roads. Now in the dry, you could probably ride over this drain, no problem. But in the wet, you might wanna take a little bit more caution. These tend to get real slippy in the wet. I know from, from experience, let's say, hit one of these bad boys, flew out, going around a corner back in the day when I was racing. Learned my lesson, never done it again. Learn from my mistakes, don't ride over these in the wet. Now moving on from drains, white lines can be just as slippery in the wet as well. We've all been there when we've been out in the rain and we've had a little 
back wheel skid because we've hit a road marking or white line. So try and avoid these as best as you can. It's not always possible. Or if you are going to go over them slowly, just go over them, with them, over them with caution and try not to break quite aggressively. Now, when you do have really big downpours, it can leave a lot of surface water. And I mean, I'm talking about the UK here. Our roads, they're a little bit iffy. There are a few potholes, let's say. And when you have surface water covering those potholes, you don't even know they're there. So you could go full pelt through a puddle and end up in a big pothole like this one, and it could end very badly. So I would highly, highly advise really trying to avoid riding through deep puddles because you just do not know what's underneath that and it is just not worth risking it. Now when you're out riding in the rain, you might just wanna go slow, please. Just go slow, please. Slow it down. You don't need to take any risk going around corners really fast. Just step back a little bit, just cool it down. Just go slow, please. Right, next up on my list is lights. Now, when the weather's pretty bad, it can get quite dark and gloomy. And don't go thinking that you just need lights on when it is dark and nighttime. It is good to have them on in the daytime, even in the pouring rain or just in the winter. So I tend to leave mine on my bike all winter long. And then if the bad weather comes in, you can just switch them on, just makes you a lot more visible to other road users, which makes you feel a lot safer on the road as well, which means you are going to enjoy riding your bike in the bad weather a little bit more because you know you're going to be safe. Do you like having wet feet on the bike? No, I thought not either. So make sure when you are planning on doing a fair bit of wet weather riding to invest in a pair of overshoes. Waterproof ones that are really going to keep, help keep your feet nice and dry. And you can get lots of different sort of overshoes. You can get latex ones, which are kind of the same material as a swimming hat. They can be really hard to get on, but they will keep your feet nice and dry. Now, if your shoes do get wet when you're out on your bike, make sure when you get back to dry your shoes. So make sure to take the insole out and let them dry separately. And then you want to get your shoe and you can shove a bit of newspaper in there to absorb the moisture or just let them air dry in a well ventilated warmish room. But make sure not to put kind of like direct heat, like a hair dryer that's really hot on the shoes because sometimes that can make them shrink and then your feet won't fit in your nice cycling shoes. And my very last tip would be to check the weather forecast. There are hundreds of different apps out there with, I mean, they're probably all different. One might say it rains, one might say it's dry. As I said earlier in the video, it was pretty sunny half an hour ago. Now I think it's going to rain cats and donkeys. But anyway, back to the weather apps. Make sure to check them. You can see when the rain is coming in, what way the wind is going to be going. So you could plan your route to maybe go the other direction to avoid the worst of the rain so you don't get poured on the whole time. And now we're back to sunshine, blue skies, all in the space of a few hours. How the weather can change, eh? But anyway, hopefully some of those wet weather riding tips can help you the next time you're out in the rain on your bike. But you know what to do. If you have any of your own tips, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.